Good evening and welcome to the show. <laughs> this show is called Just About Anything and today we have an expert on Just About Anything. Kathy Edney, welcome. Thank you. Um, first thing we'd like to do is uh, get something cleared up here. Today on the way to the show I've been asked a couple times by some different people uh, which Elvis postage stamp I thought would best commemorate the uh, king and since you're an expert on Just About Anything, why don't you tell us what you think. Well, personally, I went for the older stamp. Uh -huh. I felt that the younger one portrayed him as very juvenile and certainly not the way he looked when, when he died. Right. And a little fat, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was fat when he finally left us. <laughs> That's right. And the next thing I'd like to know is um, if the professor on Gilligan's Island could make <laughs> a radio out of a coconut, why couldn't he fix a hole in a boat? What? <laughs> <laughs> the professor, he made so many different things and helped them with so many, you know, technological things to help survive 15 years on the island. How come he couldn't fix a hole in a wooden boat? Well, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the expert. <laughs> Well, I know I'm the expert on all kinds of things, but boating, I work in a boatyard, but I'm not expected uh, to know anything about boat repairs. Well, I know, I, I know. I don't have any answer for that. How about you? What do you think about it? Well, I think you got a male in PhD myself, but see, <clears throat> well, let me ask the questions here. <laughs> oh, how about, let's try, um, are you a television fan? No. No. Okay. Who do you think was the better host of Hollywood Squares, um, John Davidson or Peter Marshall? That's a television question, and I'm not a television fan. Okay. Let's That's try a animals. That's unfair. Let's try something about animals. Uh, what is it with the little dogs? <laughs> so I got a big lab, and do you? this uh, schnauzer from, we talk about dogs? from down That's the street good. came up, and. Uh, my, my, <laughs> my cat beat up the dog. I mean, what is up with these dogs? I don't know. You know, the purpose of them and the heritage and whatnot, are they what, better than uh, large dogs? Small dogs? Right. Where'd you ever get that idea? What idea? That small dogs are better. No, that's what I'm asking you. Are small dogs better for pets than large dogs? Not necessarily. No. It depends on where you live, what you have to offer in the way of a yard, mm -hmm. how large your home might be. Uh -huh. So um, what do you think about um, the shopping plazas these days? <laughs> Filene's had a great <laughs> sale last week. Well, I don't, I don't shop that store, but... Oh, you don't, huh? No, I'm, I'm more concerned with uh, these poorly stocked s stores you go into and, and you want to go in and get a nice big one pound can of B&M baked beans and you get down that aisle and there's one can left and you end up wrestling a blue-haired lady for it and uh, of course I mean, you give it up, up you, yeah you give it up gracefully to the blue-haired lady don't you yeah <laughs> <laughs> you didn't give up the beans no these, no, oh. no 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 um, but it sounds like you must shop purity if you're finding that. Matter of now, fact, if you go I to do. Stop and Shop, you'll find that the, sh the aisles are much better stocked. Well, they are, but there's m there's more people, so I yeah, it's almost tend too to big. get a little claustrophobic. You have to have a whole there. day to devote right. to shopping, and if I you're don't have that much there. time. But um, well, uh, that's all the time we have for today. Darn it. But I'd like to thank our guest, Kathy. You really are an expert on just about everything. Anything. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> We'd like to thank you all for joining us. And tune in next time when we'll have another very special guest. Thank you very much. Thank you.